Okay, here we're going to do a single crochet. It's again one of the most basic stitches. Um, we have our chain here from the last tutorial. And what you're going to do is just skip that very first chain. And you're going to come through the next one, just right under that top loop. And then you just grab your yarn and bring it through. You should have two loops on your hook and just pull it through. And again, you're going to go right through that opening, grab your yarn, pull it through. And if you notice, eventually, it tends to look pretty normal and gives you the single crochet. Again, this is one of your most basic stitches. I would say after the chain, the first one that anybody should learn. Um, and you can keep going as long as you want. It, it doesn't matter however long you want to make your project. You just keep going with this. And when you have it at the desired length, whatever you put your chain to, what you're going to do to switch rows, you're going to chain one and then you turn it. And then you just come, if you notice that little indent right there, you just go right in there. And you, usually you're going to go under both loops unless you're told not to. That's a normal stitch is to go under both loops. And again, you're just going to pull it through and see that indent again. And you just go through. And you can do this to make any number of things. Um, it gives you a tighter stitch. I'm using a larger hook just so that you can see the stitch definition. Um, I didn't want to use something too small so that you would lose it or too big so it would be really loose. Um, so I'm using a J hook which is fairly large. Um, and if you look, you're just going to keep on going. And then in the end, some people get a little bit confused. Um, that is the beginning of your first stitch. If you notice, if you leave it, it's going to look really, really funny. Um, the first row tends to do that, and a lot of people get a little bit confused by it. But if you notice, the further you go, do my chain again and come back up, the more it's going to tend to block out. It's going to kind of square itself off a bit. So you shouldn't have... Too, too, I mean, it's going to be obviously somewhat of a rounded side, but it's not going to be too, too bad. Um, and uh, you can use this to make any number of things, from afghans to hair bows. Um, it's a pretty versatile stitch, and again, I like I said, definitely the, the second one that I would learn after the chain. Um, so there you have your single crochet.